St. Petersburg State Electrotechnical University, or LITI, traces its history back to the end of the 19th century, making it the oldest institution of higher electrotechnical education in Europe. At its founding, the university was known as the Electrotechnical Institute and saw Professor of Physics Alexander Popov, inventor of the radio, as its first elected director. Different excursions and meetings through and in Popov's apartment are now organized on a regular basis. Many renowned professors and scientists have worked and taught at LITI throughout its history. Jures Hofiorov, recipient of the 2000 Nobel Prize in Physics, is a LITI graduate. He worked at the university for more than a decade and headed the central department at the Yoff Institute. It was at LITI that Russia's first school specialized in electrical engineering, radio engineering, computer science and informatics, nanotechnology and biomedicine were formed. LITI, based on these first national schools, continues to conduct research in these interdisciplinary fields. The university is headquartered in its historical building, the castle on Eptekarsky Island. Besides laboratories, you can find a library that contains one and a half million volumes. Here students can access different electronic libraries from all over the world, including the British Library and the United States of America's Library of Congress. At present, nearly 7,500 students from every region of Russia and from 54 foreign countries study at the university. The university employs five corresponding members of the Russian Academy of Sciences, 20 recipients of national and international prizes, and more than 20 doctors of science. The university graduates about 2,000 specialists in different fields annually. Together with leading partner universities from the United States, Europe, and Asia, LITI offers a wide range of educational courses at different levels. This enables students to study at foreign universities for several semesters and then be awarded two diplomas, one from LITI and another from a foreign university. Intercultural communication at the international level is one of the most important aspects of LITI's work. The university has long-standing and fruitful academic relationships, not to mention years of scientific and technical cooperation with universities, research centers, institutes, enterprises, and companies from 35 foreign countries. Joint scientific and educational laboratories open at LITI quite regularly. The university has closely cooperated with such companies as Siemens, Altium, and Motorola. A recent agreement lies in the opening of a laboratory run jointly by LITI and Finnish company Benet. A cooperation agreement between the university and IBM was also inked recently. Famous scientists regularly lecture at the university. At the end of November 2013, American professor James Butler, a recognized authority on physical and chemical diamond surface analyses, lectured on the use of diamonds and cutting-edge technology. Today, LITI is housed in several buildings located in the center of St. Petersburg, next to the Botanical Gardens. LITI offers non-resident students comfortable dormitories, as well as access to modern laboratories, scientific institutes, the Science and Technology Park, and representative offices of some of the world's leading companies. Students not only study, but are also given the opportunity to showcase their creative passions in the best traditions of the university. Students can play sports, sing, dance, and participate in an intellectual contest called What, Where, When, a choral festival, and the Spring in Liti Festival. Liti is still one of Russia's leading technical universities. It is considered, and has been recognized, as being among Russia's best universities. In 2013, Liti won the St. Petersburg government's prize for education. Liti is a leader in many fields, including radio electronics, information management systems and technologies, systems of information and communication, bioengineering, and environmental protection. The university continues to develop as an innovative institute of higher education, where scientific and educational activities are united.